At this time, I think it is only fitting to reflect on why we are here, what has gotten us to this point in our FFA careers, and where we can go from here. Over the next two days as we celebrate our accomplishments, the state officers will share their thoughts on what makes our organization so special. At this time, I would like to call on Brandon Bothwell, Brock Larson, Claire Silvers, and Paul Shanks as we reflect on the opportunities and inclusiveness of the FFA. I'm at 20, now 21, would have been 21,000, but by 21,000, would have been 21,000, now 22, would have been 22, now 22, would have been 22,000, but by 22,000, would have been 22,000? I remember my very first day of freshman year when I walked into ag class. That was five years ago. Now I remember I was thinking to myself if I was wanting to decide whether or not to join FFA. I mean, I didn't really know what FFA was or why I even wanted to be a member. I just knew that it's what most of my friends were doing at Newtown Harris High School. Now, looking back from where I am today at my five-year FFA career, I can't believe the places that FFA has taken me. I mean, I would have never guessed that I would get to travel to our nation's capital and attend Washington Leadership Conference. I never would have thought that I would have the opportunity to travel to, to two different states and attend two national FFA conventions. I never knew I would become a leader or learn hidden talents that I had, like public speaking. I would make hundreds of new friends and have tons of fun while doing it all. I've learned about honesty and integrity and respect, and I've finally become a part of something bigger than myself, the National FFA Organization. In 1928, 33 farm boys from 18 states gathered in Kansas City, Missouri at the first National FFA Convention. And thanks to those 33 students from 18 states, I can say, that since my day one, I've been sold on the FFA. Now, Missouri FFA, I want to leave you with this. I challenge you that over the course of your FFA career, however long or short it may be, and into your adult lives, I challenge you to push yourselves to become a better you every single day. And I challenge you to strive for a brighter tomorrow. And throughout your FFA careers, I hope that the FFA will have the same impact on you that it's had on me. Because I know that if it does, you'll be sold from day one, just like me. Thanks for a great year. I'm at 22, now 23, would have been 23,000, but by 23,000, would have been 23. I'm at 22, now three, would have been 23, now three, now three, would have been 23,000, but by 23,000? I was sold on Missouri FFA. It was the summer after my eighth grade year. I came to the town fair, or as we call it, the Bell Nationals. I backed up my trailer and started unloading my pride and joy. The first cow-calf pair I had raised all on my own. As I was unloading my pride and joy, I look over and there's standing the chapter advisor and the current chapter president at the time. Now I wanted to make a big impression because next year I was gonna be joining the FFA. Well that day went on, I was washing my heifer at the wash rack and here came the advisor. He looked at me and he said, Paul, you're joining FFA next year, right? And I kind of looked at him puzzled a little bit. And I said, well, of course I am. You can show livestock and judge animals. What other amazing things could you possibly want to do? Well, then freshman year came. I sat down for the first day in class, and I thought I was going to learn everything there was about animal science. But I wasn't quite right. We started learning things about the Crete. I learned that I could do things like public speaking 
And then I learned that you could judge animals after they were sent to the slaughterhouse in the meats contest team. You see, that president and that advisor pushing me throughout that fair, making sure I was gonna join FFA, making sure I was going to succeed in high school, making sure I would take all the opportunities I could is why I was sold on FFA. Members and guests, when you leave here today, how are you gonna continue selling for Missouri FFA? I'm at 23, now 24, would have been 24, now 4, now 4, would have been 24,000, but by 24,000, would have been 24,000, but by 24,000, bid 24,000? Family. Family is what sold me on FFA. Not just my chapter family, or my area family, or even my state family, but our national FFA family. That's what sold me on FFA. Now, a little while ago, I really had to stop and think about something. I'd read in the paper about a local ag teacher who had a family member that passed away. And it just so happened that I was driving through town the day of the funeral. And as I drive by the funeral home, I notice outside the service is going on. And standing there was all these FFA members dressed up supporting their advisor. Now, I really had to stop and think about that. We as FFA, our family, doesn't matter whether we're competing against each other in creed speaking or on a CDE team and competing against each other. In the end, we are family. Now, I know that I would not be where I am today or the person that I am today if it wouldn't have been for my family. You guys as my FFA family. So I challenge all of you, no matter what happens, no matter who you're sitting beside, no matter what goes on, that you be family. So my, my challenge for you is to be the best family member that you can be. I'm at 23, now 24, would have been four, now four, now four, would have been 24,000, but by 24,000, would have been 24,000, now 25, would have been 25, now five, now five, would have been 25, but by 25, would have been 25, I'm at 24, now five, would have been five, now five, now five, would have been 25,000, I'm at 24, now five. 25,000 FFA members in this state are sold on premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. I remember when I first started FFA. I walked over to the Ag Building in Eldorado Springs and I laughed at that goofy sign that says, flex your athletic muscle here. And then I walked in thinking I was just joining another high school organization, another club. You know, it'd take up my weekends, it'd take some of my time after school. It, it'd be kind of fun, get to meet more people. And as I began to spend more and more time in that ag building with my FFA family, I realized that these were some of the most passionate people you would ever meet. That this family would teach me life skills I could use forever. From belting out T-Swift on the way to a meat judging contest to coaxing a raccoon off my bag at FFA camp I learned valuable skills that would take me on to career success. As I spent more time in the FFA, I later found that these people and this family would help me find my passion and ultimately decide on a career path. Now, I found that I was sold on Missouri FFA in that ag building. FFA members, we are a part of the largest intracurricular organization in the country, and we have the opportunity to develop leadership skills and skills that will help us later on in life. 
FFA members get sold on Missouri FFA.